Let's talk Google Drive. So Google Drive really is going to become the epicenter of your productivity as you use Google Apps more. So it's a really important tool to understand how to use. And uh, so that's what this video is all about is really one, how do you get to your Google Drive and then just a basic overview of what it is. So, you know, being able to find Google Drive isn't hard. There's several different ways to get to your Google, Google Drive. It's just finding a way that works for you. So I'll, I'll show you a couple of different ways. One way is if you're using Chrome and you have your bookmarks bar turned on, you're gonna see this app launcher here. So if you were to click on that app launcher, here come your apps and you could click on Google Drive right there. So a uh, pretty quick way to get to your drive. Uh, some people prefer actually just going to Google. So if I go to google.com and I'm signed in, I can see right up here that I have that same app launcher and here's Google Drive again. Uh, Another way, uh, some people will actually type in docs.redmondschools.org, like you can see there, and when I hit enter, it's going to take me directly to my Google Drive. Uh, all three of those ways work great. Uh, the way I actually do it is I have Google Drive open automatically for me every time uh, Chrome opens, and I did that by going into my Chrome settings here and setting my start pages. We covered this in a previous video, so if you want to do that, uh, go check out that video again and you can set it up where your Google Drive will open automatically for you. But anyways, so we're, we're into Google Drive, so what is Google Drive? Uh, the best analogy I can give you is Google Drive is kind of like your Z Drive. You know, it's your place that you just store all your computer files, whatever it is. Um, but the nice thing is that Google Drive is available anywhere to you on any device as long as you have the internet. And so you can access your files um, anywhere and it's backed up automatically for you. We have an unlimited amount of sharing and saving space. So it's, it's just a great tool for us. So when I, when I look at Google Drive, uh, I see it as being broken into two main you know, sections. The first being your drive, that's your space. You save files there, you move files there, whatever it's, you control it. The shared with me is anytime someone shares a file or a folder with you, it's put into the shared with me section of your drive automatically for you. It's kind of nice because um, you can go to one place to look for you know everything that's being shared with you. Um, and things don't have to stay in the shared with me uh, folder. You can take these and click and drag them out um, to a different folder on your drive or you could right click and um, you know you could add it right here to your drive. So it doesn't have to stay in your shared with me folder but I know that's been a frustration uh, last spring was people were like ah things are being shared with me I don't know how to find them that they're in this shared with me section of your Google Drive okay so you have the my drive and the shared with me section of your Google Drive Google Drive really does act very similar uh, to your Z Drive in that it's just a place to store and save you know if I expand my Google Drive I have my same folder you know setup that, that I could have in, a, in my Z Drive um, I just have it on my on my Google Drive you know I can take these individual files and I can drop them into these folders I, I have all that same functionality that I've been used to uh, so that's you know kind of how the Google Drive and your Z Drive of, of the past are, are, are kind of similar. So let's let's talk about actually creating a new file or something in your drive. So uh, it's pretty simple. It's just this new button. But what I want to cover first is um, Drive is set up a little different in that when you create a new file you need to tell it where you want it to say first rather than what we're used to with Microsoft Word and um, or PowerPoint or whatever and we create the file we work on it and then we tell it where to save so when you're creating new documents new files make sure you know where you want it to go so if I want to make a new uh, you know file in this technology professional development folder that I have I need to make sure to open that folder first. 
then I can create a new file and it's going to go in that folder. I may even put it in a deeper folder in this lab skills. So now when I go to new, I can create a new Google Doc, a new Google Sheet, a new Google Slide, a form, a drawing, those different apps, but it's actually going to save over here in this particular uh, folder that I chose. You know, if you forget to do that at the beginning, no problem. You can always move it around wherever you need to, but it's just a nice thing to know that make sure you know where it's going as, as you're creating it. Oh, it looks like we lost the internet a little bit, so you gotta love technology on that. Let's see if I can get it to come back. Perfect, okay, we're back. So in, in creating you know, a, a new folder, you could put a new folder in here by clicking new and folder. We're gonna come back to these later on how to up, upload things. But really Docs is your equivalent to Microsoft Word. It's a word processor. Google Sheets, very close to Excel. Slides is your presentation tool, much like PowerPoint. And then down here you have Google Forms, which uh, we'll cover later. And then Google Drawings is very similar to um, Microsoft Paint. So you, you have a lot of those basic programs set up here. So creating a new file and a new folder is actually really easy. I'm just going to New, and I'm creating whatever, whatever I want. So maybe I want to start a new um, document, a new Google Doc. So I'm just going to click. It automatically opens this Google Doc for me, but it's in a new tab. So my drive is still here, right? So I can go back and forth. We're gonna, you're going to get used to having lots of tabs open. But here's that document that I created. You know, I can rename it here and the way I go, it's much like Microsoft Word at this point. Uh, we'll cover Docs specifically more later. Um, so let's, let's bounce back to our Google Drive. And so you, you notice I'm gonna actually, you know, put in a test so Google starts saving something here. So then when I come back over here to my Google Drive, here's that document for me. This is the one I created. I left it, you know, titled, untitled. Um, you know, it shows me when it was modified, who the owner is, and a lot of a lot more of this will make sense as we dig deeper into Google Drive. So I've, I've created that, that file. It's the same process if I wanted to create a different type of a file or a new folder. Um, so now that I have this file created, it may be something that I want to share with, with a teammate. So I can just click on, you know, this individual file and I could say, hey, I want to share it with someone. So if I click to add people, it's going to ask me, who do I want to share it with? So maybe I'm going to share this file with Jeremy. So I'm going to select him from the list, and now I have an option. What can Jeremy do with this file? Can he edit that? So does he have full rights to it? Can he comment? So he can only make comments, but he's not really changing the document. Or is it a view only? You set that up by user, and then you would, so I'm gonna leave it so he can edit, and I'm gonna hit send. It's gonna automatically send Jeremy an email to his Gmail saying that I had shared something, and it's also gonna put it in the shared with me section of his Google Drive. Um, so it's, it's really quick and easy to share things. Uh, and we'll, we'll cover more sharing options and things as we uh, get deeper into the different applications and into Google Drive. So uh, as you can see, we're gonna use Google Drive a lot to find things that are shared with us, to store our files, to create our files, to do all of our file management. So it, it's a really you know, useful tool. It can get cumbersome over time as you have many, many files, and that's where their search feature is amazing. Um, I could literally just search a keyword here, and so it's going to search. You know, it's going to search for things like uh, who who made the document, who shared it with you, any content inside your document, the title of your document. It's just going to do a broad search in my Google Drive, or I can actually tell it. I've got some options. I'm only maybe I'm only looking for spreadsheets. I just want to find the spreadsheet. I know it's a spreadsheet, and um, you know. I know, I know the person that sent it to me. And so I can set these different details and hit search and it's gonna narrow down those files for me in my drive. And so their search feature is really, 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 really nice in Google Drive um, because it, it just searches so many fields for you and you can find stuff so quickly. 
So again, this was just the basics of Google Drive. Uh, we've got videos coming up with some more in-depth detail. Um, but so keep watching and uh, you'll, you'll get it, I promise.